Life on Earth is a fragile thing. We face ice ages and temperature changes, crashing asteroids and food shortages, yet the animal kingdom has made it this far. In order to endure all the curveballs Mother Nature has thrown our way, the animals in harm's way needed to evolve in order to survive. While we don't know when the next disaster will be on our doorstep, we can assume that we'll all change to meet the challenges ahead. The Hub has found that animals from all over the world are adapting before our very eyes, showing us 10 ways creatures will evolve in the future. While we can't tell you your future, we can make some pretty educated guesses, so click the subscribe button to keep taking educated glimpses through our scientific crystal ball. Green Lizard's Feet in the tropical environments of Florida, the green lizard, also known as the Annelis carolinensis, faced a problem when brown lizards moved in. Although they were related, these scaled brethren did not get along. With the brown lizards honing in on their turf and eating all their resources, the green lizards found a peaceful solution and quickly adapted. They moved higher up into the trees. To the outside observer, this seems like a complicated change as the higher tree branches are slenderer and less textured. With this in mind, the immigrating green lizards evolved to have larger feet with pads on their toes that were better equipped for gripping. And where it took modern humans about 300,000 years to become the civilized beings we are today, these green lizards accomplished this feat of survival within 15 years. Basically, they were able to change complex characteristics inherent to their physicality within 20 generations. According to experts, if humans were to make a similar accomplishment in 20 generations, it would be an increase in their average height of 5 foot 9 inches to 6 foot 4 inches. Can we make that kind of change over time? Only time will tell. Elephant's Tusks the world's largest and most majestic land mammal is nearing extinction, and it isn't exclusively because of any food shortages or effects of climate change, although that could always play a factor in the dwindling of a species. No, the African elephant's biggest threat is the ever-present poacher, looking to seize and sell tusks for profit. It's a sad state of affairs, but nature's best defense for these precious giants is to take away one of their most famous assets. Tusks, the heavy and sharp bones protruding from the elephant's jawline, are still in booming demand in Asia, and over 30% of all African elephants elephants have been overtaken by poachers in the past decade alone. Generations ago, only around 5% of the entire elephant population was born without tusks and thus spared from the poachers. But now, up to 98% of females are born tuskless, having passed the mutation through their genes. Even those tusks that are in existence today are around half the size of the older generations. While it helps these gentle creatures avoid certain doom at human hands, these animals now lack the basic physical trait that allowed them to display dominance, defend themselves, and forage for food and water. Hopefully, future elephants will develop new means of survival. Fish Immunity New York City has come a long way since the Industrial Revolution. Once full of farms and wildlife, Manhattan and its surrounding boroughs and counties grew throughout the 19th and 20th centuries to become the big city it is today. With all that growth came a ton of pollution, and for those old enough to remember, the city of the early to mid-1900s was full of soot, smoke, and smog. After a lot of hard work and conservational efforts, New York is on track to becoming one of the cleanest and greenest major cities in the world. Someone should have sent the memo to the fish in the Hudson River, however. The Atlantic tomcod had to be an overachiever and went ahead immunizing themselves to toxic chemicals that had previously been dumped in the river. This all sounds like the origin story of a superhero, and it is. These heroic animals developed this immunity within 50 generations. The Hudson River contains the largest quantity of the now banned chemical known as polychlorinated biphenyl. Tomcod, born with a lack of a protein that reacts with PCB, were able to survive. When the survivors mated, they passed this handy trait onto their children and now most of the Hudson Tomcods can thrive in polluted waters. What else will future fish be able to fight with their immune systems? Pizzly Bear's Heredity while they seem cuddly on all those Coca-Cola commercials, the polar bear is large and fearsome. Yet with melting ice caps and shrinking food sources, polar bears are adapting to make the most of their scary situation. Hunters in northern Canada have found animals with the fur of polar bears and the head and paws of grizzlies. With the changing climate, polar bears are hunting further south and grizzly bears are ranging further north, causing the two species to cross and increasingly interbreed. If the father is a polar bear, the child is referred to as a pizzly. More appropriately, it's called growler if the father is is a grizzly. While the prevalence of this new species is concerning to conservationists, poor Inuit tribes sell polar bear hides as part of their livelihood, which has led the Canadian government to hesitate over whether to classify polar bears as endangered outright. Scientists, on the other hand, urge alarm when it comes to the emergence of these bears' offspring. Many times, the products of two separate species mating causes defects in their children, and while future species may evolve from the polar bear, pizzly and growler bears may not be the next king of the Arctic. Koi wolves improved physical features. 
Another new species emerging in the northern parts of North America are the koi wolves. And no, these aren't a new kind of flirtatious wolves. These are the product of mating between coyote and wolf populations in Canada and the United States. This breeding isn't particularly rare nowadays, as most coyotes already have a mix of eastern wolf, western wolf, and dog DNA in their blood. This hereditary link to wolves makes reproduction between coyotes and their four-legged wild friends possible. The offspring from these unions are, on average, 50 pounds heavier than normal coyotes and have more wolf-like ears, legs, and jaws. They're also more adept at hunting than either forest-dwelling wolves and plain-dwelling coyotes, as the koi wolves enjoy feeding in both environments. Combine that with their ancestral link to dogs, like German Shepherds and Doberman Pinsers, and they have also been known to mingle with other animals roaming through North American cities. Surprisingly, 20 koi wolf sightings have been reported within the confines of New York City alone. Expect more hybrid species to pop up around the world as the climate change and weather patterns shift in the future. Sea Slugs DNA Manipulation Slugs aren't the most revered creatures in nature. They slither slowly along the sidewalk or driveway and make a goopy obstacle for you to avoid if you want to keep the soles of your shoes clean. Sea slugs adorning the ocean floor are more or less the same, but the various shapes and colors of these invertebrates are far more pleasing to the eye. And amazingly, they have a few tricks up their sleeve. Particularly, they've taken a note from plants and figured out how to gain power from the sun. The sea slugs, known as Elysia chlorotica, eats algae soon after birth, and when it consumes the plant life, it also absorbs photosynthetic abilities from the algae's DNA, giving the slug the ability to use photosynthesis for survival. Known as horizontal gene transfer, it's an activity in which two similar bacteria are able to trade similar traits. Before, it had only really been studied in complicated lab tests. These sea slugs are somehow able to modify their DNA organically. Of all things, this process could teach us how to successfully modify DNA to ensure perfect health and usher in a stage of evolution for ourselves. The Peppered Moss Color Coordination as another stark example of short-notice environmental changes impacting physical appearances, the peppered moth has easily adapted to its surroundings. In London, the moth's white and black speckled appearance created quite a conundrum as darker skies became the norm during the city's early industrial days. With smog filling the atmosphere, the bright peppered moth stood out against the dark gray sooty clouds. As a result, its population declined by over 60%, and the moth faced a dilemma. Either change with the times, or go extinct. Luckily, certain moths were born with darker wings, allowing them to blend in better. Their survival ensured later generations were colored a deeper gray and gave them the nickname Darwin's Moth. Ironically, London is starting to change its own colors. In the post-industrial era, factories are closing down, smog levels are decreasing, and skies are clearing up. This is all serving to shock the moth systems, as now these creatures need to revert back to their lighter shade to avoid predators. The hope is that they'll be able to adapt as they had in the past. Whether or not that happens, it's heartening to know that it's possible for animals to evolve new physical colors and patterns as the situation calls for it. Poison Dart Frog's Mimicry Beautiful and deadly, the Renidomea imitator is a poison dart frog with the ability to imitate the skin coloring and movements of other frogs in its vicinity. Now, recent studies argue that this dangerous amphibian, who belongs to a family of frogs known as the most poisonous animals in all the world, is mating with the very frogs it's mimicking. Like the twist from the Bond movie, The World Is Not Enough, in which Bond girl Electric King reveals that the villain who kidnapped her is now her boyfriend, it's gotta be awkward for this frog couple when one needs to introduce the imitator frog to the rest of her frog family. Hopefully the awkwardness won't last now that a new species is expected to spring from these two lovebirds. Still, studies have proven that imitator frogs prefer to mate with other imitator frogs, and even though one might be mimicking a separate species, they are good at picking out their own kind from a lineup of similar frogs. It's assumed they've evolved to become pros at this selection process by experiencing bad genetic matches between different frog species in previous generations. Regardless, the interbreeding of skin-changing frogs will lead to the reproduction of more poisonous species to avoid in the future. Humanity's Lifestyles Humankind faces a couple of interesting evolutionary options depending on what happens over the next several centuries. There are those scientists who argue that we are fully evolved life forms, and that either calls for us to pat ourselves on the back or sadly ask ourselves, this is it? No matter what, that's kind of a boring option, so let's just assume that things are going to get interesting. As mentioned before, our changing climate poses some interesting problems for our genetic development, and as our environment changes, we too will need to adapt to survive. And according to a new theory, our entire life cycle is due for major changes around 
2050. At this time, technology will take over much of our lives and technical enhancements will no doubt be added to our figures. The main reason for this change, argued by this theory, is that our increase in brain size and reliance on artificial intelligence for menial tasks means that humans of the future may be less physically inclined and they may experience common events like childbirth much later in life. This does not factor in the potential for travel to new planets in the distant future and whatever adaptations may be needed to survive on those worlds. Spider Speed while the potential for human evolution may be exciting, the evolution promise for our eight-legged friends may be downright horrifying. In a creepy turn of events, some scientists theorize that with all the massive environmental changes brought on by humans, spiders, among other animals, are adapting at super fast rates. Basically, they're growing smarter at a quicker rate than humans have been. And hopefully, they won't catch up to us. With hotter and drier climates in certain parts of the world, spiders have also been observed to be growing in average size. Using a study executed on soil mites, researchers found the mites vastly increased their rate of burrowing over a period of 15 generations. When you consider that many spiders are making the same adjustments to their behaviors and they often live for one year, the chance for them to make massive strides in just, say, 20 years is not unthinkable. And as not all spiders spin webs to catch prey, you can't just search for the spindly substance in the corners of your house. Spiders are everywhere, and as they change their lifestyles to survive, they might become a bigger threat to you. The animals on our planet hold the key to their past and future within their DNA. All we need are environmental and behavioral factors that bring out full-scale evolutionary change over time. If you think too much about it, tomorrow can seem like a scary place. But by looking at these 10 ways creatures will evolve in the future, we can also guess at all the interesting and exciting possibilities for our world going forward. Stay tuned to The Hub to discover all the cool things that can happen in nature and beyond.